Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to theme your Nexus or Pixel device using Substratum. In order to use Substratum, you will need a couple of things. You will need a Nexus or Pixel device running Android 6.0 or higher, and you will need to have root access on that device. Now if you're using a custom ROM, I highly recommend to only use Substratum if your ROM specifically states that it's compatible with Substratum. Otherwise, that could lead to things such as boot loops, and I don't think anyone watching this video wants to go through the trouble of getting a boot loop. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that you are going to want to do is install the Substratum app. So, you want to go to the Play Store, go to the search bar here, and search, type in Substratum. And it'll be the first thing right here, the little paintbrush and the yellow stripes. So go into that and install that. Once it's finished, make sure to open this. It'll ask you for super user or root access, and you want to make sure to grant that. Very important. Okay, once you do that, you'll get this nice little animation right there. I think that looks really nice. So you get a little welcome screen. Welcome to Substratum a minimal yet powerful theme engine based on Sony's Overlay Manager service. So, new user interface, per app theming, all that kind of stuff, different options for enabling themes. Okay, all that kind of stuff, and we hope you enjoy our creation. Thank you for reading this introduction, and we hope you enjoy using Substratum as much as we did while developing for it. Okay, so nice little message there. All right, so now it's going to give you a little description of why it needs some of the permissions that it needs. Access to your contacts and access to your phone storage. So make sure to allow this. Okay, and now you are here in Substratum. So if you're downloading this for the first time, you should not see any things listed here. I have two things here, Swift Black and Lock Clean. Uh, you should not have anything here if this is your first time. These are themes that I already have installed. So what you would want to do right here when there's nothing blank on this screen, this screen will be a list of all the themes that you currently have installed on your phone. So to get new themes and stuff like that, you will want to go again to the Play Store and just type in anything like Substratum theme and you'll find tons of different things in here and there are some very very nice great themes in here developed by some amazing people so once you have your theme once you downloaded a theme and you see it listed here just simply tap on it it'll go through this it says Swift Black's catch is now rebuilding you can see up in the notification shade that Swift Black's resources are now upgrading. And this will take a little bit of time, so just wait for that to finish. Okay, so once that's finished, you will get this. Now this has all the options for applying whatever parts of the theme that you want. So it says Swift Black, the title of the theme, and it has the little cover picture right there. And there's two tabs, Overlay Manager and Wallpapers. So several different themes come with their own wallpapers. This one has two. And then Overlay Manager is the main thing. This is what you want to work with right here. So as you can see, it says, important, pick Android version. So there's a drop down menu here and you will want to pick anything that you are running, whatever your phone is running. If you're running Oxygen OS 4, make sure to pick that. If you're running Android 7.1.1 on the Google Pixel, click the Google Pixel one. If you have 6.0, 7.0, 7 7.1, or if you have 6.0, 7.0, or 7.1 with OMS support. So if you know if your device has OMS support or not, make sure to pick your Android version with OMS. I know the ROM I have has OMS support, so I will pick 7.1 OMS. You'll also notice that there is a little toggle next to, right to the right of that drop down menu. And this checks all these different things down here. Now you might not want to do that, but what I recommend doing is leaving that checked for now and then go through the list and uncheck what you don't want themed. Now this theme, what it does is it it's a black theme as you might know by Swift Black, so it'll make these kind of things theme or themed black. So for Allo, if that is checked, it will theme the Allo app black. 
well, you know, everything will be black in it, basically. It's a black theme. The stock keyboard, if you have that checked, that'll be black. A Android system, I think Bluetooth share, different kinds of little options for different things, or any menus, or apps, anything listed here. All this stuff, it can theme. So if there's anything you don't want to have a black look to it, make sure to uncheck that. Now, very important, down here for YouTube, do not enable this unless you are using a special version of the YouTube app. There is TBO Theme Ready G apps, as it says right here, kind of in this download or drop down menu here. You will need the TBO Theme Ready app version of YouTube. I'm not going to go through all of that. That's a separate modified version of the YouTube app you need to download in order for themes to work on the YouTube app. So make sure to uncheck that if you. Okay, so I'm just going to go through here, pick out all the ones I don't want and I will be right back. All right, so when you're done with that, you should see a little purplish, pinkish button with a paint roller in it in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. If you don't see it, just scroll down, then it should pop up, and you want to tap that. Oh, beautiful animation there, I really like that. And so you have some options here. So you have an option to disable other themes, so I suppose if you have other themes that may conflict with the theme you're trying to install now, then check that so it'll disable any other themes you have to prevent anything from conflicting with each other. Then there's build and enable, build and update, disable selected, or enable selected. I haven't been able to figure out what the difference between build and enable and enable selected is. I would advise to always click build and enable, especially on the first time. So go ahead and do that. It'll say installing overlay Android system. It'll install all the overlays or themes that you selected. Okay. So this went away, and yes, I don't know if my recording software got that or not. The UI of the phone should have refreshed, and you should have got a little notification. I just swiped it away. It said that everything was completed correctly. In my phone here, as you can see, if you had the Substratum app checked, I did. So now everything in here is black. The list is black and everything. If I go back here, this is all black and into, let's say, notification area. You can see this is all black now instead of the gray that it used to be. Now I think this looks really nice and it also saves battery if you have an AMOLED display. So that about wraps it up for today's video. If you found it helpful, please leave the video a like and make sure to ask me any questions you have in the comments. So thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.